Oh, hi. I'm Rob. And this is a refrigerator. You may ask yourself, why is the refrigerator outside? The answer is, of course, because it quit working. So, obviously, it's an old girl. Um, and it doesn't particularly seal well. The magnets are a little worn out. The seals are a little worn out. And um, it's not doing as well as it could. I woke up to find that things that I had in the freezer uh, were no longer frozen. And it was still cold, it was still cool, but it was not... Um, things were thawing in the freezer. So what I'm planning on doing is cleaning it first, because it needs a little cleaning. Yeah. And I have a pressure washer. Mostly I'm using the pressure washer to clean out the uh, coolers that I had to put everything in in order to, uh, you know, save as much food as possible. There's something very satisfying about that. There is not a refrigerator manufacturer in the world that will recommend that you clean the inside of your refrigerator with a pressure washer. I would agree with them. It's probably not a great idea. However, this refrigerator, if it's completely unsalvageable, is junk. So I figure it's worth trying to clean it and see if I can get it restored to some semblance of working again and we'll see it is pretty much a uh, well I mean it's a it's a good little refrigerator if it actually works when it actually works but the way that it was acting it feels like it's wearing out or worn out it was making some odd noises so I don't know how much longer it has to live but one of the things that I can do is aside from getting this cleaned out on the inside is going to be taking off this rear panel and cleaning out the underneath. I don't think that has been even looked at at any time in the recent past. You know, recent being you know, 20 years. So this is the new fridge, the one that has been to replace the old one. Uh, it's a very nice one with uh, you know side-by-side -side doors on the top and then a double freezer so that you have two different halves that are each isolated from each other. And if you're wondering why it's not already back in the refrigerator place, it's because it is 36 inches wide, which should fit fantastically into the space that I carefully measured as 37 inches. Um, it's 34 inches. And also a little bit taller than the uh, opening over here. Um, so. My careful measurements, yeah. So apparently I measured it correctly and wrote it down very quickly, jotted it down on a piece of paper. And my sevens and fours look unfortunately alike. Uh, the height I just forgot about, so my fault. Um, yep. However, Rather than try and take it back and pay another delivery fee and restocking fee and all of those things, I'm going to move it over here. So I have to move all of these things and re, kind of redo everything here, which is, I, I kind of need to do that anyway. But one of the advantages of that is it will actually make a better flow to the kitchen. As for what will go in the old refrigerator space, I don't know yet. Uh, the baker's rack, I thought that would be a good thing to put there, but the baker's rack is also taller than the uh, than the opening. 
So I'm guessing that it's probably going to be some sort of shelves or cabinets or something in the meantime. Uh, that whole kitchen really needs to be redone. It's very poorly laid out. The, everything is just cheap. It's falling apart. Uh, and that's, I mean, it's on the, it's on the list of things to do when we have the money for it. So I think it's, it's a good investment to keep it. It's a good, ref it's a good refrigerator and, uh, having something that's not working or is about to die is not in the cards. So I'm going to try and resurrect this one. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I am not overly, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, you know, so. Uh, if we can get it, if we can get it actually working for a few more years and have a, you know, have a second fridge for, you know, beverages and whatever else, then it's probably worth it. But uh, I'm going to let this dry overnight. Well, you know, dry as much as it can. There's little sprinkles coming here and there. Um, and then I'll try and attack the, uh, the undercarriage tomorrow. I've got the... Uh, handy dandy air compressor with the blower gun so that will make a bit of a uh, uh, cleaning thing easier but we'll see how it goes uh, so anyway see you so you may ask yourself why do I have an outdoor refrigerator it's because of dogs you may ask yourself why do I have a refrigerator outside? Aren't they normal? The answer would probably be dog. Bathroom. <laughs> Apparently, we have visitors. Hi, Tyson. <laughs> there are dogs. Go to the bathroom. Okay, I will. Piper doesn't really care all that much. <laughs> Sissy wants to play though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 